Where is this Tesla supercharger? I want to experience high speed. Doesn't it have a different name than a, just a supercharger? No, it's still a supercharger, but it's it's a version three supercharger. Oh. So what does it do? It. What does it, it do? Charge it That's faster? a great question. It charges this car like three or four times faster than a regular supercharger. So we could be, we're at just about halfway battery. And in theory, this should be able to charge us almost a full in, in like less than 10 minutes. Right now, I'm on my way to find the supercharger in downtown Las Vegas, right off the strip. I'm with my wife and my two friends, Hazel and Travis. We're all from Utah, and so we don't have a lot of superchargers, let alone a version three supercharger. And so we came down for the weekend, and I thought to myself, I want to find the supercharger so I can experience the high speed charging. It's hard to find because of the construction, but if you can find it and you have a Model 3, it's worth checking out. That's it right there. Is he gonna let us in? That's the million dollar question. I think so, there's people charging. This is so exciting. Sweet, thank you, appreciate it. This is freaking awesome. <laughs> yes, thank you. Oh, this is so exciting. Um, look at right there, parking lot. How do enter? Up. Enter code on pin pad. I don't have a code. How do you get the code? It says tap the supercharger pin on your touch screen. Where? On your touch, touch screen. screen. So look at the chart. There should be a pin that says Oh, here that, we go. That. Ha. Oh, there you go. Go me. There's the code. Five, six, nine, three. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> Matt, what the heck is wrong with you? He's so excited. <laughs> that was, I thought it was on hold. Apparently you were not. Push button for ticket. Okay, put it on hold. Put it on hold. It's not on hold. Put it, so thank you. This is not as easy as I was hoping it would be. All right, we got the ticket. Go. Less than one hour is free, that's us. So we wanna specifically find, I don't know which ones are a V3 and which ones aren't. How can you tell? I'm gonna try. It's gotta be one of these, obviously, because those aren't superchargers, those are just regular chargers. My heart is beating fast. Dude, there's like a riot going on. <laughs> this, is, this is crazy. What an adventure. I don't think it's a riot, it's a tour. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a riot. <laughs> riot looks better. Here we go. This is so exciting. Holy crap. Go, go, go. Yes, this is amazing. You're right, it's not as high as it should be. Is this the right one? I guess we can try another one. I have seen Travis that depending on where your battery is, the fastest charging part is that when it's low and it kind of tapers off. I'm gonna try a different charger, see if, see if we can find something close to a thousand. I wondered if my current battery level had anything to do with the slower charging speeds, but I checked the Tesla website regarding the version 3 superchargers and there is no mention of battery level 
when it comes to achieving that high 250 kilowatt rate. I don't think I'm gonna get it. I wonder why that is. I have no idea, but the quest for a thousand miles an hour. This one's even slower than the other one. Our kilowatts is like five kilowatts lower. There's no way. We're gonna try one more charger to see if we can find a thousand miles an hour or close to. It's not looking good though. I never was able to find a supercharger that got me close to the 1,000 miles per hour that I was hoping for when I set out to find this new version 3 supercharger. And I, I won't lie to you guys, that was disappointing, but it was still really cool to be a part of the supercharger experience. That was my one of my first times doing it, and man, I mean, it is, it is awesome. It's certainly an advantage to Tesla, but I do wish that I was able to find that faster charging because that's something that would really change the game for electric vehicles. If we learn anything, I do think it's true that the closer you get to your charge limit, the slower it goes. So maybe a truer test would have been to really run it low and try it. But at the end of the day, it is really hard to complain with 400 miles an hour. For me, that means 30 minutes from empty to full. Uh, I get six miles an hour. So this is, I mean, do the math because I can't do it, Travis. <laughs> but it is way better here, obviously. You could charge at home, no problem, because like we drive, we drive maybe 50, 60 miles a day, tops. So we could plug it in every night at home, yeah. and it would fill up. We just choose not to because I get free charging at work. Yeah. So. That would totally work for us. We don't need a supercharger, but it is cool to just see this thing crank up. All right, well, the uh, Quest, it was a fail. The supercharger is still really cool though, but uh, not anywhere close to a thousand miles an hour. That's all from Vegas. Thanks for watching. And if you have any supercharging tips, any way to help me get to that higher rate. Let me know in the comments. Peace.